Go ahead at 3W6XW to Snapchat for progress on upcoming events and news day to day. Last Smith on Instagram for exclusive photos and videos. Every time a video is uploaded to YouTube, the link is sent straight to Twitter. Come out at your boy. Message me on Facebook. What's going on? Go over to SoundCloud, listen to some 3W6XW sound exclusive theme songs from the 3W6XW or go to Last Minute Smith Studio and listen to your boy. Man, what the hell happened in Survivor Series, man? I mean, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar, man, 90 seconds. What the hell, man? You know what I'm saying? A lot of weird stuff's going on. And speaking of weird, I'm sitting here watching Weirdest Science of All Movies, 1985. I wasn't even born in 1985, man. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, yo, it's Big Boy Last Smith. World of the Toys, man. What the hell? Here we go. WrestleMania, Triple H, Elite style. Ugh. We'll talk about that another day. Found this figure. Can you guess where? It sure as hell wasn't Walmart. It sure as hell wasn't Toys R Us. And it sure as hell wasn't Kmart. And it sure as hell wasn't any other place you go to find action figures. That's right. It was Walgreens. Once again, Walgreens. I got to give you credit because that's the only place I've been finding new stuff. In. Let's pop this thing out of the package, man. What the hell? Triple H. Elite style WrestleMania, what 31, him versus Sting, the Terminator, the tire going on right here. Great figure, debate about getting it. Wasn't gonna get it, but I'm like, okay, well, I ain't had a Triple H since I think that big book Triple H, uh, the Toys R Us one, the one that came with the little cloth shirt and um, sledgehammer, or whatever. So it's kind of outdated. I'm like, all right, well, this will do, you know what I'm saying? That inside the package, I thought maybe the Terminator the little armor here his arms move but but they don't it's just one piece way well, hey, it's cool i'm probably not gonna use it anyway but uh you guys uh know that triple h did get hurt at um last december's um eva destruction pay-per-view if you can i guess trivia who did that who attacked triple h and took him out for so long then um put in the comments below because i don't think no one can answer that one because that is kind of a, a, a touchy subject. But uh, yeah, this is a great figure, man. What I like is the small knee pads. Most Triple H's, they get those real big, long knee pads. and really, It kind of hinges the knee articulation. And uh, I like the fact that it has the, the the taped up knees up under it, the white paint or whatever. Got a removable helmet here. I think this is like maybe the third or fourth Triple H little helmet that they released. I think they did a silver one, then a gold one of that... Uh, you know, his usual WrestleMania helmet, but this is like a brand new one here. A lot of people probably had this figure for a while, man. I don't know if it's just Georgia or not, man. But our uh, retail's been super duper slow. Here it is, uh, you know, a couple days for Black Friday. And there's still no figures on the shelf nowhere. Toys R Us got this big old um, display. And it's stuff like, you remember I bought Finn Balor back in like, what, March, man. And this a display with the Finn Balor Elite Series, man. Dean Ambrose, you know, and... uh terry funk and all that man what the hell man you know what i'm saying but anyway this is a great figure the terminator armor here it's sculpted really well it's kind of a bummer that the arms don't move but what can you do man you really don't need the arms to move it just from the package it looked like i know it was gonna have you know elbow articulation but it looked like at least the shoulder joints went up and down but this is a cool figure man New Age Triple H lower haircut, WrestleMania 31 attire, him versus Sting. If you see it, which you probably won't, not in retail. And if you have, let me know where. I mean, it doesn't matter now because I got it, but uh, I don't know what the hell is going on retail, man. There's a lot of people, all the homies on Facebook said they've been getting most of their, their new stuff from uh, Walgreens and FYE and, you know, Game Stops or whatever. But I don't, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the big chain companies lost lost the deal with WWE or lost a bet, and you can't get figures for a whole year, huh? You know, I mean, they've, they've got new figures, but it's like little basics, or whatever. But anyway, here are all my Triple H's, and I know you say, "Why the hell is Sabu over there?" That's because that's I think my series two Triple H that I made into a Sabu. Maybe I should have used a shorter figure, but I know I was gonna never use that Triple H. I had no plans of selling it or nothing, so I figured, hey, what the hell? I'll make me a Sabu. Then uh, there's the big book Triple H. And then there's um I think the Elite 23 DX Triple H. I might be wrong. 22 or 23 because I think almost everybody in that series was almost a classic or, or a flashback. But yeah, man, what the hell, man? Survivor Series Goldberg Brock Lesnar, whatever. If you see this figure, go out and get it. Whatever.